there are movies you, when you watch them as a child, you become obsessed with them. The next movie here, Logan's Run, is something I became quite obsessed with as a small kid. When I saw it, I was probably around seven or eight for the first first time I saw it, which would mean, given my age, that the movie had been released for approximately five or six years. It looks ridiculously dated now in certain points, but the rather worrying themes of an occult of eternal youth and people being programmed by jewels in their hand haven't dated all that much and have rather a worrying relevance to the way we're all being programmed ourselves somewhat by smartphones without even realising it. We've all joined in a cult of our own almost. And we've all joined in certainly a cult of eternal youth. We all uh, seem to forget that we're all going to get old and we're not always going to look wonderful and beautiful and we'll go grey. I'm going to play the trailer in a minute. The uh, sequences set in what is obviously a shopping set uh, look a bit silly now, but the overall mood of doom and gloom doesn't, and the opening section with Carousel still looks nightmarish. Just imagine a world where you will hold your entire future in the palm of your hand, when a tiny glowing crystal will guide you through an existence in which each day is more wonderful than the last, where it will be possible for you to obtain the fulfillment of every fantasy, the satisfaction of every vanity, the absolute attainment of every wish. Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer presents the Saul David production of Logan's Run. A fantastic journey through a world beyond imagination. Welcome to the 23rd century. The perfect world of total pleasure. Imagine a world in which you need never be alone. You touch a switch, turn a dial, and the perfect lover steps into your arms. Every pleasure is yours to experience. Runner! There's just one catch. When the tiny crystal in the palm of your hand flashes its final message, your time is up. Michael York is Logan. Run, Logan! Policeman in a perfect world. No! Trained to track down runners. Run, Logan! Until he is forced to run himself. friend i understand we all go crazy once in a while but she's a runner and it's over over well, 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 am i not <laughs> box an incredible being more than human more than machine diabolical guardian of the gateway to freedom or logan and the woman who loves him face like that before. That must be the look of... of being old. MGM takes you into a new age of adventure in the first motion picture of the 23rd century. Logan's Run. It begins where imagination ends. As you can see, this is definitely the future as imagined by the 70s with the funky haircuts and Farrah Fawcett, who was a sex symbol of the time, in there for a small part with her buffy and blonde hair that's huger than a huge thing. Having said that, and leaving aside all that and the silliness with the shopping centre locale, the underlying sort of core themes of age and how many age people a population can support and whether we should do so and what unspoken catastrophe has caused the collapse of the humanity so they're all so people are living in domes with feral people living outside is is never really spelled out it doesn't need to be in a way it would lessen it if it was said to be a, a nuclear bomb or a 
or a bacteriological blade. We could, we're left to make up our own mind. The movie is based on a novel by William F. Knoll, and the, I found surprisingly when I went to go and wanted to go and buy a copy of the novel, it's now going at ridiculous money in a paperback form on on Amazon. Used copies are going at up to a hundred quid. The Kindle copy is still there for a few quid, however. The novel differs in a few ways. One, the, the characters die at age 21. The scriptwriters wisely saw that that was going to be problematic and up the age to 30. The guns are slightly less science fiction in it. And there's also a subplot of um, tied into the real world um, exploration of space, such as was done with the Saturn launchers. And it's, it's somewhat more gritty and as much as you can use the term, I suppose, realistic. A silly word sometimes to use in terms of science fiction, but it's more grounded. The movie, though, obsessed me as a kid, and I think like many people, that's probably because of Je Jenny Agatha to an extent, but there was something in, de indefinably creepy about it, about the notion of people who are programmed to end their life at age 30 exactly or be killed. Something that drew me to dystopia such as 1984 or... Philip K. Dick's work and other people look later. If you can ignore the dated bits in the shopping mall, it's still well worth a watch now.